Alright guys, so I have recently bought a gaming laptop and this one is from HP and it's a beast of a machine. 8 core, 16 thread AMD Ryzen 7 5800H with an RTX 3050. The problem is, with all that power comes a lot of heat and noise. So just like every other gaming notebook in the market, this thing runs hot. 87 degrees Celsius on the CPU and 75 degrees on the GPU while gaming. By the way, these temperatures are perfectly normal for a gaming laptop, but it's the fan noise that bothers me the most. So here's the thing, if you are not comfortable with the high CPU temperature while gaming and especially the noise, you can unlock a secret CPU power mode using the registry editor that will make the laptop run a lot cooler and quieter while gaming. So we'll take about 88 degrees Celsius as our baseline. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my power options and then under processor performance boost mode, I'm going to set this to disabled and check out what's going to happen to the CPU temperature. We'll give the laptop a couple of minutes to settle down and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes and check out that CPU temperature only 76 degrees Celsius while gaming and we're still getting above 100 FPS. And our GPU temperature has also dropped from about 75 to 71 degrees Celsius. So previously we were getting about 88 degrees Celsius, now 76. So that's about 12 degrees Celsius drop in the CPU temperature. But the biggest change is in the fan noise. So previously before disabling the CPU boost, we were getting about 39 decibels of fan noise from the laptop while gaming. After disabling CPU boost, the fan noise has reduced to about 35 decibels and that is actually a substantial improvement. So the thing is, inside power plan, you will need to enable processor performance boost mode. This feature will be hidden by default. So let me show you how to enable this and make your laptop run a lot cooler and quieter. Alright, so to enable the extra power plan, we're going to open up the registry editor. Now inside the registry editor, you will need to navigate to H key local machine, then system, then current control set, control, scroll down to power, here it is, then power settings. Over here, we are looking for 545-33251, here it is, expand this. Now over here, locate BE-337238, so scroll down, so here it is, click on it, and now double click on attributes change the value from 1 to 2 and click on ok now you will see an extra hidden power feature will be enabled so now we have to open up the control panel and go to power options over here click on change plan settings change advanced power options now if you don't have the control panel icon on your desktop open up the start menu and search for edit power plan Open this up and click on change advanced power settings. So this will again take you to the exact same menu. So inside power options, locate processor power management and expand this. And over here you will see a new menu, processor performance boost mode. Expand this. So by default this will be set to aggressive. You can disable it if you want and disabling it will obviously disable processor's boost mode thus making the laptop run a lot cooler and also less noisier because the fans are not gonna go crazy when you are doing something as simple as watching a video. And obviously this will have an impact on performance so I usually set this to aggressive whenever I'm editing a video in DaVinci Resolve because then I want the maximum performance out of the CPU. But for everyday tasks like browsing the internet, playing video games, disabled is perfectly fine. After all, this computer has an 8 core 16 thread CPU. Even without the processor boost, that's more than enough power available for your daily tasks. And yes, this does actually make a substantial difference even when you are doing simple things such as watching a video on YouTube, Netflix or browsing the web. So right now it is set to aggressive and you can see our CPU temperature is hovering around 54 to 55 degrees Celsius. And even though our CPU usage is zero, it is still 55 degrees. So I'm going to set this to disabled and watch what happens. So once we disable this, you will notice that almost immediately the CPU temperatures will start dropping. So in about half a minute, the temperatures have dropped from 55 to 50 degrees Celsius and this should drop even further. The video is still playing in the background, by the way, shout out to EEV blog. So we'll give the laptop about 2-3 to three minutes 
To stabilize, let it remove all the heat and we'll see where the temperatures stabilize at. So not a whole lot of difference in the temperatures, so we are still idling at about 51 degrees Celsius while playing a YouTube video in the background. But there is a difference when it comes to the fan noise. So this is how it used to sound like before. And this is how it sounds like now. So yes, not much of a difference when it comes to the temperatures while watching a video, but yeah, the fans will be a lot quieter. So I've been playing games after making this change and fortunately everything is working perfectly fine. I have not noticed any stuttering or any weird issues with the frame rate. So the gameplay is still super duper smooth. So doing this will make your laptop run a lot cooler and it will make less fan noise. But you gotta keep in mind this also has an impact on the performance. So as you can see the CPU is no longer boosting up to 4 GHz, the maximum boost will be limited to 3.1 GHz. And that is perfectly fine because we are averaging around 100 FPS. It will occasionally dip down to 90 but yeah still pretty good. Alright everybody that brings us to the end of the video and if you have enjoyed make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.